is playing to win in Africa, exploring business opportunities in Nigeria. But our focus essentially is to expose you to indigenous business and management practices that appear to be working very well in Nigeria, that defy logic. Africa is open for business. Are you ready? Are you willing to take advantage of it? Because this is your time. I deliberately chose to come to an African country and to Lagos in particular because I want to understand business on the continent. I think the continent is abundant with opportunity and I want to be part of that journey. One of the things I would actually say about LBS has actually been the enormous level of networking that the school gives you. When LBS calls us for programs like this to come and share how the MBA has actually played a vital role in our life, we are willing and ever ready to come and share this with the international students. So it's been a wonderful experience and I will always say LBS is the place to be. It's just actually landing at Lagos Airport. It was overwhelming already, even before the airline could touch the ground. I was bombazzled by the, by the size of the city. I didn't imagine it would be that big. It's actually the biggest I've seen. What this International Ember Week has brought out is the fact that in the midst of this chaos, there are opportunities. We saw a group of businessmen who are regulating themselves without so much input from government. And they are able to make things happen. There's a lot of opportunity in Nigeria. I think what Nigeria has that we don't have is we almost over-regulated, which gives the consumer a lot of um, protection, if you like. For, I think, the Nigerians, I think it's easier for you. You seem to have this spirit of entrepreneurship. It doesn't matter what happens, you see an opportunity in something, and you just run with it. Here also, they do delivery. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so they, they gave us their cards, so if oh, you yeah. want, you could always call them to deliver to your place. I also bought beads, right? Oh, but yes. I put on my hair. Oh. Yeah, so that when you... Oh, when you walk you it, shake it, yeah, yeah, yeah. it fells it. <laughs> and then we also saw the Nikkei Art Gallery, someone who is able to you know, through social enterprise, while making money because it's not a charity, you know, she's able to empower lives, empower women. That for me was really mind blowing. Obviously, the gallery itself was pretty impressive, and her story is massive, I mean, for any African. And then on Wednesday, we had the um, panel sessions, we had the ICT session, we had the agribusiness or the agri-value chain um, session. We also had the real estate, which are growth opportunities for us in business. What I have found particularly inspiring and humbling at the same time about Nigeria is the resilience of the people of Nigeria. That regardless of all the adversity of the environment within which we operate, each individual is making ends meet, is overcoming the various hurdles and making a success of their respective enterprises. And from a modernization side of things, well as the economic side of things, of, I was quite excited But what I saw at the Echo Atlantic. That's a big project, you know. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that even in our own country, you know. And you begin to wonder why a lot of Nigerians are trying to see greener pastures elsewhere. Why we have the greener pastures here? So it's for us to be able to see the opportunities in the problems. And we have much more opportunities in the value chain, be it agri, be it uh, real estate, be it trading, you know. And we saw all these things in all the places that we went to.
today we had the presentations the innovation challenge and you could see the diverse information coming out and the fact that we are thinking of innovative ways to address our social challenges so that for me was a total experience as far as learning is concerned far exceeded i didn't expect to learn as much as i did i didn't expect to get the exposure to real cases the way that that you have offered it so it's been great all around from uh, education side of things from meeting people uh, as well as the cultural aspects it's been powerful here yeah.